Opera is combining mariachi music for an emotional show this weekend at the Ordway. Cruzar La Cara de la Luna tells the story of a Mexican family, a Mexican American family in search of new possibilities. The show kicks off the Minnesota Orchestra's 60th season. And this morning, we're joined by artistic vice president for the opera, Joseph Lee, and cast member Efrain Solis. Joseph, why don't you start there and give us a little bit of backstory um, behind the show and kind of this, how this combo works. Well, the backstory of the show is that this was a this is the world's first mariachi opera. Uh, it was premiered by Houston Grand Opera, and commissioned by them in 2010. Um, this iteration that our audiences will see uh, is the first time that we're doing it with a full uh, orchestra in the pit. Uh, the first time that it was done was it was done with the mariachi, mariachi Vargas, uh, who are superstars uh, in the mariachi world in, in Mexico, and. Um, we're really pleased to have this new version to present to our audiences um, and to it, to really highlight the show's accessibility and the emotionality, as you just mentioned, that it was. Yeah. Yeah. There is not a playbook for for this kind of thing. Uh, at least I'm not aware of it, a mariachi uh, orchestra. And, you know, how much time does it take to kind of put this together? I know you've been through rehearsals. Uh, what is that process like? And you know, ex you know, tell me about some of the experiences. You know, while this is going along. So one of the new things about this full production of Cruzad is we have a full set. We have the full orchestra. Their costume changes. Uh, the original uh, version only had the mariachi as the set because they had to be on stage. But now we have uh, a world of possibilities with a full set, lighting and, and costumes and everything. Uh, it's, it's been new for some of us that have done the original production and are now uh, in this new world we can play with. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, being able to, to really find new levels to these characters. Uh, and on top of that, the orchestra, David Hanlon created an orchestration for it that has added all these colors and imagery to, to the music that wasn't there before. So obviously the music is a big part of this, but the storyline is important to it too, one that I think resonates with a lot of people. Do you want to kind of go into a little more, more detail about the story that plays out? Sure. So, so some folks have referred to this as a story about immigration, and it's really, that's it's so much more than that. It's a story about family, and it's a story about belonging, and um, really our search for each other and, and what draws us together as a family. And as all families experience their own levels of how they relate to each other and their levels of dysfunction and weirdness that we all have, right? <laughs> um, and it's a story ultimately about reconciliation and celebration of the human journey. So everybody really can, can you know, relate to this story. Absolutely. Uh, the opera, and this is for a lot of people who have never experienced an opera before, it might be intimidating for some people, but on top of that, you know, it, it's both Spanish but also English. So if you aren't fluent in Spanish, you'll also be able to follow along. Absolutely. We have uh, stu super titles generated over the stage um, so that when there's dialogue and singing in English, they're translated into Spanish and vice versa. Um, <clears throat> And it's the the music really uh, opera does have the the reputation of being inaccessible. This yeah. is the exact opposite of that experience. This music is accessible to everyone. You're going to leave the theater singing all of it, I hope, and you'll want to mm -hmm. come back. What is it so far that you've taken away from the combination of like combining mariachi and opera that for you is like wow? I didn't realize we could attain this. I mean, for me, I grew up with mariachi all around me, yes, and when I was a music student, I always thought, well, that's the thing we do for fun, and then opera and classical music is what we do when we, you know, are studying and want to be serious. Oh. And then at some point, when I was doing my training at San Francisco Opera, I was contacted by Houston Grand Opera and presented with this idea, and all of a sudden, the two genres that I grew up with and loved, all of a sudden joined together and I always thought well mariachi singers have powerful voices and opera singers have pow powerful voices so what happens if we blend the two and it's just a beautiful beautiful marriage the music is always stunning and and the the emotion is always you know at its highest level because that's how mariachi is and that's how opera is so you were able to, because it's, it's like mariachi, you found a connection in that way, because opera can be intimidating, and it's a yeah. different level. Uh, is it difficult for you as far as the vocal training, or you were kind of already there because of your... No, the fun mariachi. thing is there are moments where we can, 
we can tone down the opera <laughs> and be there. The, the opening scene for me, uh, Mark, he only plays the guitar and sings what, what we could consider a lullaby. Mm -hmm. And it's not operatic, you know, it's not the big vibrato. It's very, very uh, calming. calming. It's very introspective. Uh, and it's, it's, he's trying to soothe his father. Mm -hmm. And so it's all this uh, intimidation that we kind of feel around opera, this, it, within the first five minutes, that just melts away. It's fascinating. Yeah. Well, Josephine Efrain, thank you so much for being here. And we're going to get a thank little you. taste of the show and the opera mariachi combo in just a few minutes. Uh, but first, if you want to see the performance for yourself, it's on stage at the Orway. It's through November 12th. And if you'd like tickets, you can head to mnopera.com. All right, finally this morning, of course, we are excited to end this Friday show with more music. Yeah, before the break, we were chatting about the mariachi show from the Minnesota Opera. Some cast members are here to give us a sample of that show. So we are going to let them take it away. Trece números que nos protegen. 